Welcome to the channel everyone, my name is Heath and today we're going to be looking at the newest update to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, what it's all about and what we can learn for it, but let's not waste any time, let's jump in this video and find out about this update. So here we are on the mod page and this is what we're going to be talking about today. Mods got a complete overhaul, everything has been changed, we got some nice new features that really needed to be added and should have been added for quite a long time and we got some other things that were added to mods as well. But as you can see right here, no longer do we have the uh, slice button. It is now enhanced and enhance is a really nice feature. Uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit. See what I can do with some of the things. It actually really makes slicing mods or enhancing mods much different. So you can see right here, it says upgrade slice, calibrate, and we can sell as well. And that is a new tab we're gonna be looking at right there. That is a calibrate option. Calibrate changes the way that we can modify mods in every single aspect in the hopes that we can get more speed on our mods and things like that so right off the bat here you can see it gives you a really good breakdown of everything that's on this current mod uh, i've got three in crit chance i've got five in speed i've got one in offense and one in tenacity i can actually slice this up to the next level so that's what we're going to start off doing right here is slicing this mod so we slice this mod we got crit chance added to it so now let's break down what we're going to be looking at, and that is calibrate. And this is a chance that we can actually add uh, speed in hopes adding speed to uh, this mod, but we're going to see how well it goes. Click the calibrate button, and it gives you all the options available. You have four, as I said, in crit. You have five in speed. You only have one in offense and one in tenacity. So right off the bat, you cannot choose offense. You cannot choose tenacity. So the only one that we have available to choose is crit chance. One key thing to note before we actually click the calibrate mod is that you can actually end up with worse stats than what you originally started with. So in, for example, I've got 7.3 crit chance. I could reroll this and end up with a much lower crit chance on this. Uh, it could apply to offense. It could apply to nasty or it could apply to speed as well. We're going to see what we end up with. So as you can see, we have a currency, a new currency right here that is available. You can actually farm micro attenuators just like you can the other materials to slice mods. We're going to do some of that in just a little bit. But first, let's get this calibration done, see what we end up with. And we're going to talk about the benefits of it and possibly some of the negative side effects of it as well. So as you can see, we have five chances to reroll or calibrate this mod. Let's just go ahead and click calibrate mod and see what we end up with. So it asks you right off the bat, are you sure you want to spend micro attenuators to calibrate this mod? Of course we do. So we're going to hit calibrate. What do we end up with? Let's see. We're going to get crit chance and we end up with crit chance. And there is a perfect example. We got a reduction. This is exactly what I was talking about right here. We started out with 7.3%. We ended up with 6.7%. So we're going to discard these changes because we do not want this. We want the previous stat. So as I said, these are some of the negative side effects to using the calibrate option. So we're gonna discard this because we do not wanna start have less than what we started with. So as you can see right here, we're back on the slice tab and here are the materials that we actually need to farm to be able to slice our mods. And currently I have quite a few of everything, but right here are the main ones we're gonna be looking at right here, the last ones. And that is the MK2 microprocessors. We have 22 out of 15 and we can actually farm these now just like we would any of the other materials that we need for mod slicing. So let's go in here, let's hit find. We are gonna scroll over and there we go. Battle 9F, not only can we farm these, but we can farm the other ones as well. We have the original ones, the MK1 capacitors. We also have the MK1 amplifiers in this section as well. We also can farm the micro attenuators as well in here. So uh, let's hit the sim button and see what we end up. As you notice, the actual energy cost is a little bit higher than the earlier sections of the mod battles. But again, we're having a chance at three different types of materials and the attenuators that we're gonna be able to use to slice, not only to be able to slice our mods, but also to be able to calibrate our mods as well. So right, let's hit the sim button, see what we end up with here. We ended up with five more. We got one of the MK1s, we got two more of the amplifiers as well. This can be a good option if you need just a few of the other ones. But the MK2 right about here, before we could not farm these, but now we can. And this brings up another very good point for us as well. And that is the option of having seven dot mods. Currently we're at six dot mods and we are pretty sure, I'm almost guaranteed that we're gonna have seven dot mods 
being released very, very soon. One key thing to take note of is that we don't get very many of the other materials that we need to be able to slice our mods. So we're still gonna have to farm those other sections as well. Right there, as you can see, I only got one and two of the other mod materials. So we're still gonna have to farm some more of these MK1 capacitors. So let's go in here and do this. And we're gonna scroll over. So right here, you can see we can actually find these in all the different sections. Uh, 9C, 9E, 9F. But notice very carefully that in 9C that we get three of these MK1s, of the amplifiers as well. The other sections where we get the higher end materials, we only get one of those sections. So it's still gonna require us to farm the lower mod battles, 9C right here. So unless it's in, we're gonna have to use some crystals. Last purchase, 50. And sim up this entire section. So as you can see right here, we ended up with 11 right for bat. We got 12 of the other MK1 amplifiers right here as well. So we have a bunch of these in these early sections. In the later sections, we did not get very many. We only had one and two. But the key thing is that we get the higher end materials and that is what we're looking for. So it's still gonna require us to farm these lower end mod battles, especially early on for some of the early slices on some of the new mods, especially for upgrading a new character. You know how mods go, it's gonna take a while to get the materials to get these mods sliced up, upgraded, calibrated, and all those things like that. Okay, so we're back on the slice section. We can go ahead and slice this mod. Let's see what we end up with. We've only got one more option on the crit chance. We've got four more options on the offense for tenacity. Uh, hopefully we will be able to get offense, but we will see how well it goes. And there we go. We got a fifth on the crit chance, and now we're at 9.25% crit chance. This mod is completely maxed out. However, we can go back and try and calibrate this mod again. We have our calibrate chance right there. We're still at five. It's going to cost us 25 micro attenuators. So we're going to have to farm these higher end uh, mod battles to be able to get some more of the micro attenuators. And that is what's going to cost us in the long run again, because we're going to have to spend more energy farming the higher end mod battles to be able to get the micro attenuators. Currently, there is a calendar that we're getting free parts from, but it's only going to last for a little while. So we need to take full advantage of it and be careful when we're slicing our mods and when we're calibrating our mods, making sure we're spending these micro attenuators very carefully because it's going to take a lot of energy to be able to get these things upgraded. All right, so let's go back to the mod battle page. We need at least 15 total micro attenuators to be able to calibrate in another mod. This one right here that I just did is gonna cost us 25 for an additional calibration. But let's just see if we can get three more. That way we can try it on a different mod and maybe get better stats on it. So again, we're gonna hit that multi-sim button. We're gonna purchase some more with crystals. Let's sim it all up. How many do we get? We ended up with one. So again, you can see right here, we're only getting one micro attenuator per seven sims I just did. So out of seven sims, we just got one. So it's gonna take a lot of effort to get some more of these micro attenuators. So let's just do it one more time. Another 50 crystals. Sim it all up. We've got six sims coming in. And we ended up with two this time. So that gives us the 15 that we needed. So let's go back to our mod page, find some mod that we wanna calibrate and see if we can end up with a better mod. One thing you should take note of as you plan on calibrating mods is that you cannot calibrate mods that are tier A and below. You can only go tier E and above to be able to calibrate your mods. So as you can see right here, the calibrate option is not available for this mod. So like I said, tier A or below, you cannot calibrate tier E or higher are the ones you can actually calibrate. So let's go back to the previous page and let's find some mod that we can actually calibrate. We are going to click on the main mod right here. We're going to click enhance. So we can actually slice this mod up, which is what I want to do. So we actually got some offense stat on this mod here. So do I really want to change anything on this mod? Let's just say uh, health. I really don't need a whole lot of health. So we're going to go calibrate. So as you can see right here, I've only got two stats that I can take away from. That is crit chance and that is tenacity because we cannot take away from the health stat. There's only been one upgrade to the health stat. So we actually have to choose either crit or tenacity. In this case right here, I'm actually gonna choose the crit chance. We're gonna calibrate. Let's see what we end up with. There's our calibrate option again. Calibrate, and what do we end up with? We end up with tenacity. So more tenacity on this mod. We ended up with 1.3% crit. It raised our secondary stat, our tenacity up to 8.26%. 
So actually a really nice slide. Hey, he's almost 3% increase in tenacity on this mod. So we're going to keep these changes. All right. So as you can see right here, slicing pretty much the same as always. Just give you a better layout, better option design on how to do mods. Some of the materials are much easier to farm now. Higher end materials are easier to farm now. That is in anticipation of the new seven dot mods that are going to be coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. The calibrate option, as you can see, is very volatile. You might end up with something good. You might end up with something bad. It might actually lower the stats on the mod that you were calibrating. Or in this case right here, you might end up with a higher percentage of tenacity. Something I've been trying to do is get much better speed options on a lot of my mods. I've actually got lucky on a couple of them. I have a Darth Revenant is on one of my other accounts that had a plus 10 speed mod. Ended up calibrating it. It ended up with plus 15. So really nice calibration on that mod. Hopefully I'll get some more out of it. But anyway, let me know. How is calibration going for you? Are you actually really spending some effort into calibrating your mods? Trying to make them better? And what do you think about the new 7 dot mods that's going to be coming out very soon? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you take something from it and learn something from it. Look forward to seeing you next one. Until then, much love, peace out, and we'll see you soon.